Welcome to the Niagara County Sheriff's Office. My name is Michael J. Filicetti. I'm the Under Sheriff. In this segment of Behind the Star, we're going to reflect on history and talk about the early beginnings of both the Office of the Sheriff and the history of the Niagara County Sheriff's Office. Niagara County was established on March 11, 1808. Niagara County is located in the western part of New York State and home to Niagara Falls. That same year, Governor Tompkins appointed Asa Ransom the first sheriff in Niagara County. Sheriff Ransom would be the only sheriff in Niagara County history to serve as sheriff at three separate times, 1808, 1810, and again in 1814. Today, Sheriff James Latour is the 56th sheriff to occupy the office of sheriff in Niagara County. 195 years ago, and at a cost of $3,000, the first jail was built on Niagara Street in the city of Lockport, in the county of Niagara. It took two years to complete and measured 50 feet by 50 feet. By 1842, the jail expanded to comply with an 1836 regulation that prohibited commingling of inmates. More often than not, during the cold wintry days, inmates would huddle around a fireplace to keep warm. The new structure was added on to the existing structure which made room for an additional 32 cells which measured four by 10. As the years progressed, additions were added to accommodate office space and overall efficiency. If you fast forward to 1961, a new three-story, 172-room structure was constructed on Niagara Street extension in the town of Lockport, where the current jail is located. Over the next couple of decades, the jail would be renovated to increase the jail population to accommodate between 150 and 205 inmates. 1993 was a big year for the Niagara County Sheriff's Office. The Niagara County Legislature approved $24.5 million to increase the jail's capacity to 460. The addition brought podular style housing to the Niagara County Jail. This style of housing is triangular in design and can accommodate 56 inmates in each housing pod. Existing linear style housing was also renovated and is still used today. As a result of the renovations, the Niagara County Jail is as you see it today, a state-of-the-art facility that ensures the safety of the officers, staff, and inmates. Now I'd like to touch on our uh, communications division. The communications division has endured many changes throughout the years. The communications center was once housed within the sheriff's office and staffed by deputies. As technologies have changed, so has the communications center. In 2007, the communications division was moved into a new state-of-the-art facility at the Niagara County Public Safety Building. There, civilian dispatchers are able to field both emergency and non-emergency phone calls and communicate with first responders throughout Niagara County. Finally, I'd like to talk about our Sheriff's Office fleet of vehicles, one of our most recognized uh, components of the Sheriff's Office. You see them on the roads every day. The Niagara County Sheriff's Office has utilized many different vehicles throughout the years. We have put together some photos from the 50s through today to show the transition of what we had to what we currently have today. Our vehicles were once black and white, red and white, and are now as you see them today. Technology has allowed us to enhance the services we provide. Our vehicles today have GPS, computers, radar units, AEDs, and other equipment that deputies can use during the daily tour. The Niagara County Sheriff's Office remembers those who have made the ultimate sacrifice while in the performance of their duty. Two monuments, one for police officers and another one for canines, were constructed and placed in memoriam at the Sheriff's Office for those individuals. A quote from the memorial states, it is not how these officers died that made them heroes, it is how they lived. From Vivian Cross, survivor. The Sheriff's Office respectfully honors those that we've lost, including Sheriff Fred A. Bigelow, Deputy Sheriff William J. Fiegel, Jr., Deputy Sheriff Howard Meade, Matron Phyllis M. Myers, Deputy Sheriff Jeffrey A. Incardona, and K-9 Rocky. I'd like to thank you for joining us on this tour of our history of the Dyer County Sheriff's Office.